Stage ones at startup pressures. Minus 15 seconds. And Falcon 9 is configured for flight. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Thirty-five seconds into flight, we've had a great liftoff from Space Launch Complex 40. Falcon 9 powered under the thrust of 1.7 million pounds. We're coming up on throttle bucket, preparing for maximum dynamic pressure. Propulsion reports that we are on target, throttle down, getting ready to pass through max Q. Vehicle is supersonic and experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. We're passing through the range where aerodynamic loads are greatest on Dragon Falcon 9. The Merlin engines are now throttling back up. Propulsion reports the first stage systems are nominal. Great views from the cameras here. The blue skies, a nice daylight launch showing Falcon 9 with Dragon headed downrange. Call out for MVAC engine chill. That means we are now chilling in the LOX turbo pump on the upper stage engine, getting ready for its ignition about two and a half minutes into flight. Great view looking back from the first stage camera. Cape Canaveral in the background as we head northeast towards the International Space Station orbit. Next major activity is coming up in about 25 seconds. We'll have shutdown of the nine first stage engines. We'll get stage separation and ignition of the second stage to propel Falcon 9 and Dragon into Earth orbit. We also hope to see on the left side the first stage flip around and light three engines and to begin the path of coming back to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral. Nico. Successful stage separation, ignition of the upper stage engine. We've also seen the first stage has done its flip maneuver and the boost back burn has begun. We have lit three engines on the first stage. That's reducing the forward velocity and we'll be bringing it back towards Cape Canaveral. Shutdown of the boost back burn is coming up in about 10 seconds. Second stage continues to look good on power. On the right hand side, you may have seen an object passing the nozzle of the upper stage engine. That's the Dragon nose cap that's generated at this point in flight. Stage one entry burn startup. You can see all three, uh, or all three of the nine of those Merlin engines light up right now, uh, executing that re-entry burn and slowing that first stage down. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And we just heard the call out for an entry burn shutdown. Landing burn will begin. That's the next phase of landing at T plus seven minutes and 35 seconds. We currently have an unbelievable view of Cape Canaveral uh, from the bird's eye view. It is absolutely amazing. I've been at Cape Canaveral for these landings before where you can feel those sonic booms in your chest. It is just so exciting along the Space Coast.
Stage one transonic. Stage one landing burn start. Stage two continues along the nominal trajectory. Right now, stage two is currently on a nominal trajectory. This is the primary mission to get that Dragon spacecraft into orbit. Right now, you can see that uh, second stage engine is performing nominally with uh, the Merlin vacuum engine glowing red hot. Uh, you may have heard the SpaceX team cheering in the background. Uh, it appears that the Stage 1 of the Falcon 9 has made a water landing <laughs> off the coast of Cape Canaveral. It's an exciting capability for the Dragon Chunk to be able to store unpressurized <laughs> cargo <laughs> in, and take that up to the International Space Station. It's a very unique capability. And there it is. You can see <laughs> the successful separation of that Dragon spacecraft from the top of the second stage. Uh, the trunk is open to the bottom. Uh, it's an unpressurized spacecraft, and I believe those are the two uh, science experiments we're currently going to be mounted on the outside of the International Space Station. Um, but yeah, so the next uh, Dragon still has a long way to go. Uh, the next phase of its mission is going to be extending the solar arrays. So you can actually see on your screen there's uh, two kind of bumps on the side of that trunk. Uh, those are the folded up solar arrays, and in uh, I, I believe at 12 minutes and 30 seconds, mm -hmm. those solar arrays are going to extend and unfurl so that the Dragon can uh, start harvesting solar power and make its way the rest of the way to the International Space Station. And as you can see right there, that is a uh, confirmation of uh, Dragon's mm -hmm. solar panels uh, de deploying from the side of that trunk. Um, this is excellent news. It means that Dragon is now able to power itself all the way the rest of the way to the space station. Dragon is now on its way to the space station. When Dragon arrives in just a couple of days, the spacecraft and the space station will establish a direct communications link, and then Dragon will slowly approach, pausing at several checkpoints to ensure that everything is still going as expected.